Hi everyone, I'm Ben, and this is the Board Game Blueprint. On this week's episode, Brian from the Scrapyard Armory is going to show us something really cool that you can do using the custom punch-out on the Game Crafter. It's sure to level up any copy of a game that you've got. You can check out his website in the description below, but let's check out what he's got right now. Woo! Hello everybody, this is Brian, otherwise known as Scrapyard Armory on the GameCrafter chat and also on my website, scrapyardarmory.com. So today I want to show off some 3D buildings that I've been making. These are kind of the third iteration of what I've been making uh, using the GameCrafter's laser cut punch-outs. Um, here I have an example of the, uh, the first generation of these buildings. You can see uh, these were done with hinges um, and uh, the roof fits on like that. The sides connect with a little puzzle shape there, you can see. And uh, these were cool. These were these were all right. And here's a, a level one version. Obviously, these are meant to be used for BattleTech games, so that's why where I get the three sizes: level one, level two, level three. If you're familiar with the game, then you know what I'm talking about. But uh, this one, some of them didn't fit together perfectly. You can see I used a little dab of glue in a couple places to keep these things together. What I really wanted to go for was to uh, figure out a system that would hold itself together. And that's where I came uh, to this design, which has this kind of uh, grid pattern. And then the roof is a little bit inset and has the little pegs on it, which fit into slots on the sides. And there is no glue, no tape, no nothing, no adhesives at all. And it just holds itself together really well. Combine that with a base, and now I have this in my third uh, iteration of these. The base fits on just like that. So there's pegs on the sides as well that fit into the base. And this thing just holds itself together, not a problem. And they're super strong. They can handle some of the biggest battle mechs, like so. Not a problem. I'm really happy with the way these came out. Here's a little close-up of what the uh, finished pieces look like. The textures I got from OpenGameArt.org, so shout out to Keith333. I will add a link in the description of this video so you can see uh, where I got the textures from. And uh, after that, it was just all uh, SVG cut files done in uh, Inkscape. And as a follow-on video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how I made them. And uh, I'm going to show them how I, how I put the art together, how I made the cut files, and all the tips and tricks that I used to... Uh, uh, to make it work. There's still a couple things that are a little bit off, a couple things that I, mistakes that I've made, and I'm going to tell you all about those and, and how you can avoid those in your own designs. Uh, I'm really happy the way these things came out, and uh, stay tuned for future videos. I'm going to show you how I made it, I'm going to share the files, and uh, show you my process and how I got everything together, optimized, and ready to go for, uh, to, to be laser cut for you at the Game Crafter. Um, 
that's about it, and uh, hopefully I'm going to have a couple more videos later that'll uh, show off a couple other really interesting, fun things, and uh, really happy with the way these things came out, and uh, looking forward to the future. See ya. And how cool was that? I can't wait to get my own. Use my hands and build them and put them on the table in King of Tokyo or whatever, knocking them around and all that kind of cool, cool stuff. And how do I do that? Well, you're in luck because in the next episode, Brian's going to show us how to use Inkscape to prepare the files and send them off to the Game Crafter so that you, in a couple weeks, can have your own buildings made. So come on back for the next episode. Leave a comment below about what you're going to make using the custom punch-outs. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so we can continue to see each other. Thank you very much. I'm Ben. This has been another episode of the Board Game Blueprint. And together, let's build something great.